next guest tonight is the best-selling author of The Zombie Survival Guide and World War Z. Please welcome Max Brooks. Hey, Max. Come on up. There you go. Now, the New York Times called you the zombie laureate of the United States because zombies have been popular, you know, uh, for a long time, but you've been writing about them since 1997. What draws you to the zombie genre? Well, I don't think it so much draws me as repels me. It's fear because I grew up in a pretty nervous household. Right. Your, your, your father is the great Mel Brooks and your mother was the great Anne Bancroft. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Amazing. Thank yes. you. Now, my mother, in addition to being the great Anne Bancroft, because she was Anne Bancroft, she got death threats in the 60s when she kissed Sidney Poitier at the Oscars. No way. Literally, it, it was standard practice that whoever is giving away the Oscars, if it's a woman, you know, gives a little man a little peck on the cheek, and yes. that happens. Sidney Poitier walks out, mwah. Next day, a mountain of mail threatening her life. So she was a little jumpy. And she was a little worried I would be kidnapped. Now, here's the thing. Most of us have moms out there, you know, who are worried we're going to be kidnapped. But not everyone has an Oscar Award winning actress acting out how you would be kidnapped. <laughs> Do you have favorite scenarios that you remember? Of your oh, yeah, mother? no, no. My mother, she would act it out. She would, she, it would be the play. The curtain would go up and she'd say, all right, you're going to be, you're going to be at, at, uh, at a field trip. They're going to be out. And some guy's going to come up to you and say, hey, kid. You want, a, you want a chocolate bar? Now, my mother grew up in the 30s. So not only was I going to be kidnapped, I would be kidnapped by a prohibition gangster. <laughs> it was going to be Edward G. Robinson the, the, was going to yes. take you. Jimmy, nah, Ke Jimmy Cagney. Get my van, Come here, yeah. kid. With, with flipping a coin. <laughs> that was my childhood. Uh-huh. And did your dad lighten it at all? Or he just like, I leave that to your mother? No, no. My, when you talk about my dad, you think of him as, as Mel Brooks, the comedic genius. Sure. I know him as Corporal Kaminsky, the combat veteran of World War II, who spent his formative years defusing mines. So also jumpy. So a little jumpy in my family. You grew up in the Hurt Locker. I did. <laughs> I did it, and my mother was a consummate survivalist. She had an earthquake kit. The first time I brought home my girlfriend, who's now my wife, we're talking about the Northridge quake, and my mother says casually, well, we can eat the dog. <laughs> Mom, what? Oh, yes, there's a lot of meat on there. That could be a week or two. So you're, you're totally set up to write the zombie survival yes. guide. I took it all, and I put it in books. Do, do you, I, as, as someone who's thought a lot about this, uh, you see people online a lot of times posting what they think would be the ultimate uh, a zombie survival lair, like a house or a location or a mountain or a fortress that could survive a, a zombie apocalypse. Do you have a favorite house or design that would you think would des survive yes, the, yeah, the, I, the shambling I, mass? I designed a zombie-proof home, never published it. Uh, really? Yeah, I went on, Better Homes and Gardens actually has a... <laughs> Software where you could design your dream house. I don't think that's what they intended. What, what was your house like? What was the round? Because of the physics. Because round. Exactly. As if that explains everything. Oh. What do you mean the physics? Well, of course, because zombies can't if, grab if, round if, things. If you have a flat surface, then it channels all the force to crack it. But if it's round, it evenly distributes the pressure. Oh, I see. I see. I've thought about this way yes, too much. Yes, this is all... It's all clear now. You have a problem. Yes. <laughs> well, your, your new book is called Minecraft the Island. Minecraft, uh, second uh, biggest selling video game of all time, like behind Tetris. Exactly. Okay, up there with The Sims. And uh, why a book of a video game? Do you think video games are a gateway to reading? They can be. This one can be, because I am a parent. And, um, you know, you're always looking for ways to educate your kids because, you know, this poor generation coming up, they don't have the role models that we grew up with. You know, the, the kids of today, they don't have good, solid role models to teach them how to live their lives like we did. Like, we had Mel Gibson and we had, <laughs> you know, O.J., you know. Yes. So you're always looking for new lessons. And I start playing Minecraft with my kid and I realize, oh, my God, this game teaches you everything. What is it? What it do you mean? Teaches what you it teaches you planning. It teaches you preparation. It teaches you how to recover from failure. What does Tetris teach you? Anger management? <laughs> 
What to do with an L-shaped piece of thing. That's it! <laughs> Minecraft is a whole world that you live in, and it literally trains you how to be creative and survive the challenges of the 21st century. Uh, the great George Romero, uh, who invented the modern concept of a zombie as an undead that eats you and then or bites you, you turn into a zombie yourself. Do you, you know, he just died last week, he sadly. Did. God bless him. Um, do you remember the first time you saw his movies? Like, what went through your mind? Yeah, of course I did, because I, I was young. I was, I think... Uh, sometime in high school and Night of the Living Dead came on, I was already scared of zombies, but Romero gave me hope because there was a way to fight them. You just had to figure out what that way was. You could survive. How are you going to do it? And that is pretty much a great metaphor for life. Yes, fire and hiding is how, <laughs> how you do it in that you, one. You've just named my 20s. <laughs> well, lovely to meet you. Nice to meet you, Max. Thank you. The book, Minecraft, The Island, is in stores now. Max Books, everybody. We'll be right back. <laughs>